The Indonesian president has wrapped up his visit to Darwin with Julia Gillard, describing the leader's talks as broad-ranging and productive. Australia offered more assistance in dealing with asylum seekers, while Indonesia pushed for more minors jailed in Australia for people smuggling to be freed. The government is hoping the smooth and cooperative dialogue marks a turning point after a period of rocky relations. Melissa Clark reports from Canberra. The Indonesian president has been warmly received in Darwin, but it's the arrivals that are unannounced that have been central to today's talks between the two leaders. The Australian government would like Indonesia to take more responsibility for asylum seeker boats that are sinking in their own waters. And Julia Gillard is proposing an exchange program between the rescue agencies of the two nations. Australia will also work with Indonesia's search and rescue agency to help strengthen its ability to communicate with merchant vessels during safety of life at sea incidents. Cicillo Bangbang Yudiono has his own frustrations. Indonesia is also a victim of the acts of illegal and people smuggling, be it human trafficking or people smuggling. He wants more Indonesian teenagers convicted after crewing asylum seeker boats to be released from Australian prisons. We hope that the repatriation of the remaining underage seafarers can be accelerated from 215 and we hope another 54 will be released. John Howard. Tony Abbott didn't want to reveal what he spoke to the Indonesian president about, but he didn't hold back on his advice to the government. One of the really important things in tackling this whole uh, boat people disaster is putting our relationship with Indonesia on the strongest possible footing. But that wasn't the only sensitive topic on the agenda, with both nations offering reassurance on the future of live cattle exports. We look forward to continuing to support Indonesia's food security through our export trade and support for Indonesia's own beef industry. Cicillo Bangbang Yudiono told a business lunch that his nation planned a dual track approach of developing both the domestic beef industry and importing Australian cattle. I am sure your investment in the cattle industry in Indonesia will not in any way be at the expense of your cattle export. For the Gillard government, this trip is about strengthening the ties between Jakarta and Canberra that have been strained by the politics of asylum seekers and animal rights. But the government's job has been made much easier by the two nations' close economic ties. Australia is encouraging more young Indonesians to work down under. We will significantly increase the number of work and holiday visas available to Indonesians, up from 100 to 1,000. And Indonesia wants Australian businesses to send their money north. I encourage you to utilise Indonesia's geography, demographics, stability, democracy, economic strength and competitive labour to your advantage. Make Indonesia your hub. But Cicillo Bangbang Yudiono wants the investment to flow both ways, appealing for Indonesia's state-owned companies not to be locked out of Australia's resources boom. I welcome the invitations of Northern Territory to Indonesian business entities to participate in the development of LNG project, Access by Impact. I do hope that they can participate in your economic development. There's still significant trade and defence agreements to be negotiated. We've agreed much and there is much to do. Melissa Clark, Lateline.